never fails that I'm always about to start a video and realize I haven't shaved. Right now, it's 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 76 degrees. So today's one of those days that you have to cherish in June in Iowa. The downside is that it always has to be windy here whenever it's going to be a nice day, at least it seems that way. But I gotta take advantage of what I can take advantage of and not worry about the wind, get some stuff done today. I've said this many times before, but this place just becomes a complete nightmare very quickly. So this needs to be fixed, remedied, let's get to work. Happened to find my beloved ryegrass bag here that tucked away in the corner. I can't believe I treated this thing with such disrespect like that, so sorry. Much better. Turned out to be actually a pretty nice day today after being windy and cloudy earlier today, but I did get a lot done inside the shed, got everything cleaned up and looking much, much better in there. So happy about that. And I also got this mode back here. So I put some iron on this thing last night. I'm gonna be talking about that as well here coming up in this video. I wanna get some iron sprayed on the front and also talk about micronutrients and kind of what's important about that. So I did get some mowing done back here and that's looking pretty decent. I've moved the height up to two and a quarter and I found that that's pretty much the sweet spot of where I can still cut with my Time Master and not scalp anything. So two and a quarter is where it's at. The plan for everything else would be to go back lower as soon as summer is over, hopefully get the manual reel back going, maybe get some growth regulator going on it, enough for me to not have to mow it every single day and try to keep up with it, but we'll see. In cooler weather, I don't usually have as much trouble getting out here and mowing it more often, but that's kind of where we're at with that. I'm gonna talk about growth regulator coming up on the channel sometime soon and kind of what you can do with that, so stay tuned for that too. Now everybody asks me why I use a certain mower at a certain time and there's really no rhyme or reason to it. There's some days I just feel like using one mower and some days I feel like using another but with the Electra, for the most part I prefer this thing for renovation work. It just does a great job with those cartridges in here and as far as cut goes these are really the same real system. This one is controlled a little bit different because of the electronics, whereas the Ed one is still kind of traditionally done with a wire on the handle, pulling a belt and pulling that sort of system. And so they just feel slightly different in the way they mow because this one is more electronically set to speed and stuff like that. And you can vary everything, but you just sort of get used to whatever speed it is. And there's really no way for me to describe the differences exactly in feel, but they just do feel slightly different. And I just like mowing with that Edwin and nothing wrong with mowing with this, but just my thoughts. Back to some nighttime spraying tonight. I've been doing this as often as I can when it calms down here because trying to spray during the day is impossible. And plus it's been too hot to do that anyway, but. So micronutrients were something that I kind of neglected in my program for quite a while here. And I've seen some major strides in terms of better color. And I think overall just the health of the way that the lawn looks after I started using micronutrients. Now this isn't any sort of weird thing that you're applying to the yard. You just, most people talk about the macronutrients, which is nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and kind of forget about the other ones, especially for a pH like I have, which is higher than seven. Then the iron that's in my soil is not going to be as available to the plant 
which means that I might struggle with getting the darker color to come out quite as much as some people who have a pH within range and also more iron available to them. So applying this iron foliar onto the grass, putting it right directly onto those leaves has helped me a lot to maintain more color, maintain that dark green color that I'm going after. And also the rest of the micronutrients that are there, these are all in small doses, but they're going to help the overall health of the plant, especially if you happen to have any sort of deficiencies in these and you don't need a lot of micronutrients to get back to where you need to be but I pretty much go every other week with one week doing my liquid fertilizer and then the next week doing some small doses of micronutrients like this it's been a program that's been working pretty well for me since last year I think I've made some big strides here in terms of overall health and color because of some of these micronutrients that I've been focusing on so let's look at some micronutrient options here this is the lawn energizer which comes in my box that I have and this is basically just a little bit of nitrogen to carry things, but mostly we're looking at iron and a few other micronutrients in here to add along with that. This right here is a micro booster, so it's simply focusing on the micronutrients on this side. Sometimes what I'll put on before that is some soil hume, which has some kelp in it and humic and fulvic. Normally what I would do with any of these is put these down with the hose and sprayer and make sure that gets water to the soil, let some of it sit on the leaf for the fulvic acid to sit on the leaf, then go ahead and apply my micronutrients or either of these. And even for those of you that are on more of a granular program, if you are interested in using some kind of liquids during the summertime, just for, like I said, some iron or some micronutrients to add to the grass, as long as things aren't dormant, then you can use something like this. It does come in bigger bottles too, and also comes with the hose end sprayer if you would like to just attach and spray this out. As I've mentioned before, I just prefer spraying with the backpack for things that I wanna do foliar because I just want it to sit more on the leaf if possible. So I'm gonna fill this thing up and go spray some front yard and some side yard. Alright, so I'm going to let that sit on the leaf blades of the grass here for probably four to six hours. So I'm going to do that and actually just let this sit on there, soak in, and then water that in in the morning. You also might notice that some of the actual leaf blades of the grass in the morning might have a sort of a brownish tinge to them because the color of the material and the iron actually spraying on there and sitting on the leaf. And if you water this in, it should minimize all of that stuff too. That's really why I apply my micronutrients, especially the iron, to give me a darker green color. So check out some more videos here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.